circle. And we keep a running um, record in a little plaque that's at our office in Santa Rosa with her name on it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's, it's always wonderful to receive recognition. So I thank you so much for this great honor. When I started all this, I, I thought that, um, I mean, I just had no idea it was going to be my life's work. I thought that I was just going to create a little simple solution to a very short-lived problem, <laughs> and that problem being the lack of commitment to the arts and schools. But I couldn't have been more wrong about the short-lived part. And it all started in 1979 when my children were in school, and Prop 13 had just been passed, and we were starting to notice a lack of funding to the arts. So I decided, well, I'll develop this little art program, and we installed it with the use of parent volunteers. And I'm telling you this because in that very first year, we made some observations. And one of the greatest observations was that art education can change lives. And I'm thinking of one child in particular who was in the third grade, and he was failing failing in everything, socially, emotionally, academically. But when he started to come into this, what I would call serious art program, once a week, he made a discovery. He discovered that he was good at something. And at, consequently, his, his self-esteem shot up in a matter of three to four months, he, he did a complete turnaround. And I tell you that story because I, I've been traveling all over the country for years and years going to conferences, and I have had teachers from every corner of the country tell me that exact same story over and over again. And in spite of what we know, in spite of all the studies that have been done over the years that always prove that student performance goes up with an art education, in spite of everything we know about the brain now, that when we teach children to access the right side of the brain, we're teaching them creative thinking, which carries over into all areas of study. In spite of all that, I'm afraid art in the classroom is becoming an endangered species. And a few years ago, a woman, a teacher, came up to me at a conference, and she's telling me about all this wonderful art she's doing. And I'm just like, wow, that's amazing. How are you doing it? And she kind of looks over her shoulder, and she leans into the booth, and she almost whispers, behind closed doors. <laughs> and I'm, has it really come to this? Has it really come to this? Art shouldn't be a subversive activity. Art is a celebration. Art is an observation of life. It's an expression of thought and emotions. It's, it's a mastering of, of materials and a, and a a mastering of skills and techniques. And for the children, it's what brings joy and self-confidence. And yes, it does bring up test scores. <laughs> so if I can just leave you with one thought. This thought is that art is essential to every child's education. So please keep up the fight for the arts in your classrooms. Back in the 80s, we sported a bumper sticker that said, arts are basic. Arts are basic. They still are. Thank you. Thank this you. Is <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for this. This is such an honor. Well, we're, we're honored that you're <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, 
Yes, I didn't tell you. We do have a website. The, our program is now, um, well, it took four years, but we reshot the whole program. It's a video based. Mm -hmm. And um, we, the program can now be streamed right into your computers in the classroom. Uh, we also, um, our, it, our program started on VHS. And my whole concept then was, I really thought at first it's just teacher training. Teachers need help with this, teaching art. But it's, our, our product is a teaching tool. You show it to the kids. You show it to it, and that also shows the students doing the art lesson, which is very motivating to children. So it really is a solution. It's a solution for teachers who do not feel equipped to teach art, and there's no art teachers to help them. So that's what we are, and that was my concept. And I will say, it works. <laughs> So yes, you can go online and find us. It's called Arts Attack. You can go to artsattack.com. Okay. <laughs>